Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are doing another Pokemon card opening. Uh, this go around we're doing a tin versus tin challenge. Uh, but in this case, two tins versus another set of tins. We've got the Jolteon V and the Vaporeon V tins that were released with Evolving Skies, part of the, you know the big evolutions uh, that uh, that's involved in Evolving Skies. And then we have the Eternatus V and the Zamazenta V tins. I believe the Zamazenta V uh, tin came uh, uh, with base, sword and shield, uh, and then the Eternatus V came uh, probably a couple releases after that. But you can see the differences between the two tins. They're, the Eternatus V and the Zamazenta V are kind of newer, where the Jolteon and the Vaporeon V tins are on the older, uh, kind of old school. Um, but I think uh, in, for celebrations, they're, they're kind of incorporating both styles of tins. I've seen uh, like the Charizard and the Dark Sylveon come in both these old style tins, uh, old old style type of tins, and these two new uh, new kind of style tins that I've seen. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, open and then uh, see what kind of uh, pulls we get. Uh, I do know in these uh, newer uh, tins, uh, they're uh, about $25 each, and they come with five booster packs, um, as, as opposed to the Jolteon and Vaporeon Vs, who are like $20 each and come with four booster packs. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, open, uh, open these tins and uh, see what we get. All right, and so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, leave a comment below and let me know what other tins uh, we can open in the future. Uh, Alright, we'll get these open and let's get started. Alright, we uh, opened uh, the Eternatus V and the Zamazenta V uh, tins. Uh, we pulled out the, the booster packs. Uh, but we'll take a look at the promo cards that we got uh, from each uh, tin. We got here the uh, Eternatus V. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Like that style looks cool, and then we got the Zamazenta V uh, from Sword and Shield, the games, and these pretty cool promos. All right, uh, I think we'll put this aside, and then we get go ahead and get started in opening each pack. Uh, each pack again comes with five booster packs. You here we have two Vivid Voltage packs. Uh, we got a Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, uh, and then a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and then a Sun and Moon Base booster pack. Uh, so, so two Sun and Moons and three Sword and Shield booster packs. I think we'll go ahead and get started with the Vivid Voltage and uh, see what we pull. Uh, super excited. I know there's a really good amount of pulls from Vivid Voltage. Everyone's after like the Rainbow Pikachu. Uh, so hopefully we can pull something like that. But again, uh, it's limited in terms of the packs from the tins. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I think we'll take what we get. Uh, hopefully we can start off strong. Uh, in terms of the uh, this 10 versus 10 challenge. All right, we start off here with a fighting energy. And then we got a Sableye, a Galvantula, a Gogoat, Eevee, a Wubat, an Aracuda, Seedot, Fampy, Ooh, and a reverse hollow Barascuda. That looks pretty cool. And oh, an Orbital V Max. Wow, that's just first first pack out when we hit a V Max. That's that's so cool. Man, that's it looks really cool. All right, first pack in, we get a Orbital V Max. Uh, start out with the Eternatus V Tin. We'll put that over here and. Uh, yeah, this I don't know. This is uh, already the first pack. We got a really big hit so uh, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and open the pack number two and uh, see if we can keep this uh, Keep this run going. I mean, it's just the that's just the first pack and pulling a, a pretty pretty good hit All right So we'll, we'll see what we can get from the from the second pack. Here we go We've got a uh, water energy uh, go goat, uh, a ferrothorn, dusclops, barrow seed, joltik, sandile, sea dot, a pick a peck, 
Ooh, oh, a reverse hollow Clefable. That's cool. And, ooh, a hollow rare Electrode. Nice. All right, I think you can kind of, kind of count that as another hit, uh, although it's not an ultra rare or a secret rare, but a hollow rare is uh, still pretty good. All right, uh, we'll move on to the next pack, uh, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Uh, I haven't opened too many uh, Rebel Clash packs, uh, but again, uh, on my way to try to complete the uh, the sets for, for all these expansions, I hope to uh, get more booster packs. All right, pack number three. Let's get started here with a Metal Energy. And then we've got uh, Turfield Stadium. Carcoal, uh, Hatram, Caterpie, Barboach, Aracuda, Stuffle, Lotad, and ooh, a Reverse Hollow Metapod. That looks pretty cool. It makes made of yarn. And oh wow, an Inteleon V. That looks cool. Oh, Shaw, man, it's the uh, third pack in, we got a V-card. Let's get this sleeved up, and uh, yeah, so far, so far, Eternatus V is, uh, the full rate is pretty good. We got a V-Max on the first, and then uh, an Inteleon V on the on the third pack. But every, every card's been a hit, so here we go, uh, pack number four. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's... We have five packs. We were most likely gonna hit it and get something to hit. So uh, we'll see if we can continue this run of hits uh, with pack number four from Sun and Moon. Man, but uh, so far this Eternatus V, uh, Eternatus V tin has been has been pretty great so far. All right, here we go. Uh, we'll get started on on this set. And ooh, a Fairy Energy. Uh, I, I know. I think Fairy Energy was was in the Sun and Moon series, but I think I got discontinued with uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, then we got uh, uh, Cedra here. Yep. Uh, bodybuilding Dumbbells, Acerola, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Duskull, and ooh, a Reverse Hollow Rattata. Cool. A Lolan Rattata. And oh, just a rare Turtonator. Alright, it's the uh, I think the first time we don't get a hollow rare, uh, at least, uh, on the packs. So we'll open this last one here, uh, the Sun and Moon base, and then see what we get. Alright, code card. Let's see. Last pack magic here for the Eternatus V tin. Let's see what we get. Got a Grass Energy. Ooh, Rainbow Energy. Uh, a Crocoroke. A Pukumuku. Uh, a Zubat. A Shelder. A Young Goose. A Paris. Caterpie. And ooh, a Reverse Hollow Trumbeak. And. Ooh, a holly, uh, ooh, hollow rare polyrath. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, out of uh, I think five packs from the Eternatus V, we are able to get the Italian V and the Orbital V Max, uh, and then we also got the the other two rares. I think it was a a hollow rare electrode and a hollow rare polyrath. So uh, I think we'll go ahead and get started on these Amazenta V packs. Alright, here we are with the Azamazenta V tin packs. Uh, again, it comes with five packs as well, uh, but I think uh, these packs uh, we've got looks like two Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, a Sword and Shield base, um, and then a Sun and Moon base, and then an X and Y Steam Siege. So, um, it's slightly different. Again, it's not going to have come with the other ones because I think the Azamazenta V tin uh, came out first. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, the first booster pack from Rebel Clash. Uh, again, uh, I hope to get more Rebel Clash uh, booster packs so I can uh, kind of get and, and complete this set. Alright, let's see uh, what we pull. We start off with a 
uh, metal energy, a uh, phalanx, uh, a palpitoad, capture energy, an uh, impidim, bunnelby, phantom, dreepy, far fetched, a uh, glaring far fetched, and a verse hollow galar mine. Ooh. And then, oh, just a rare Mandibuzz. All right, so far just a, just a regular rare. All right, pack number two from uh, Rebel Clash for the Zamazenta V10. Let's see if we can uh, get something to help boost the, the, you know, the hit rate for these two tins. All right, we start off with a Water Energy and then a Dracloak. Bronzong, uh, Milo, uh, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, a Galarian Corsola, Litwick, Shinx, and ooh, a Reverse Hollow Luxio. That's cool. And ooh, a Hollow Rare Duralodon. That's pretty cool. All right. I think that counts as a decent hit for the Zamazenta V10. Out of the two Rebel Clash, we were able to get one uh, Hollow Rare. Right, we'll open the Sword and Shield base. Uh, I think trying to get more booster packs from the Sword and Shield base is going to be kind of hard since that's the, the first booster set that came out for the Sword and Shield series. But again, on my way trying to complete the, the sets for all these uh, expansions. All right, start off with a Fire Energy card. And then we got a Hop, Hop Trainer card, Poke Gear 3.0, Pseudo Wudo, Yamper, a Grookey, Kufant, Ball Toy, Chinchow, and oh, a Reverse Hollow Chinchow. Oh, so then we got that regular Chinchow and a Reverse Hollow Chinchow. That's a uh, that's pretty cool. And oh, just a rare Snorlax. All right, so uh, not not too much yet. Uh, just the hit on the uh, Hollow Rare Dural done. So we'll open the uh, Sun and Moon base next and see if we uh, see if we get anything uh, from these from the packs from this tin. So far, the 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 cards from the Zamazenta V have uh, not really been as as high as the pull rate from the Eternatus V. I mean, the the pulls from the Enratus V um, were really good. We only have two packs left. Uh, to pull from here, so instead uh, we got a dark energy here, and oh, uh, rainbow energy, a charge of bug, road on decks, rog and rolla, growlith, uh, a lolan meowth, a dupiter or dupiter, a lolan diglet, uh, energy switch, that's cool, a verse hollow energy switch, and oh, just a rare cloister. Oh, so far. Out of four packs, I mean, the Zamazenta V is not really helping the Eternatus V out at all in terms of uh, pulls. Let's see if we can get from this uh, from this last pack, the uh, Sun and Moon uh, Steam Siege, or uh, sorry, uh, X and Y Steam Siege. Uh, let's see if we can get something good from here. All right, uh, call. Uh, I believe, hopefully I did this right, uh, four cards. I think it might have been three, but we'll, we'll see. I think if it's not three, then I think my, four, my card in front would be the rare. Uh, which in this case, oh, I, I think it is. If you'll see here. Yeah, it's the rare. Looks like uh, it should have been three cards. So we got the, the Needle King. Uh, that's uh, pulled from the XY Steam Siege. So we got a Drifflim, a Flaffy, a Litleo, Nosepass, Seedot, Clauncher, Bergmite. And then the reverse hollow day no. Uh, so yeah, so that so the rare in this case would have been was the uh, uh, see here the the Nido King I believe. Yeah, so the Nido King was the rare in this case, and then the day no was the reverse hollow. So yeah, I think there's no energy card that comes in the the X Y packs. But yeah, we only got the hollow rare Duraludon from the Zamazenta V packs. Uh, so I guess you can count this as a hit. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's not gonna take too much to beat these two tins now. Only pulls from the Eternatus V um, with the uh, Orbital V Max and then the Inteleon V. But again, I think together it's still still pretty good pulls. 
um, we're gonna go ahead and open the other two tins and see what we get from there. All right, we opened the tins, the Jolteon V and the Vaporeon V tins here. I think each tin only comes with four booster packs as opposed to five booster packs from the Eternatus V and the, the Zamazenta V. Uh, here we got the, the Jolteon V uh, promo card, that looks cool. And the uh, Vaporeon V promo, uh, the Eeveelutions always look really good. Um, I think this is, I think, one of the most popular Pokemon uh, out of all the, po of the Pokemon. Alright, again, we got four packs each. Uh, we have Evolving Skies here, and then chill, uh, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. I think it's the same for, for both tins. So we'll go ahead and get started from the Evolving Skies booster pack from the Jolteon V tin. Now, there's only four booster packs uh, in each of these tins, so it's kind of, you know, at a disadvantage for these two uh, against two tins that had five packs each. But again, those ones, there isn't too many uh, hits from those pulls, so I don't think it'll take too much uh, to, to, to beat out the Eternosophy and the Zemazentopy. Alright, we got Fighting Energy, a Braviari, Nuzleaf, Ice Q. Uh, Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Gossifleur, Fletchling, Scraggy, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Pincer, nice, and oh, nice, an Arctivish V, right, very good pull on the first pack, that's that's really cool, and uh. Evolving Skies, no less. I think uh, even in my Evolving Skies set, I think I don't have an Arctivish V. So, really, actually really proud that I, or really happy that I pulled this. Ah, that's a, it's a pretty cool looking card. Yeah, add that to the, uh, the, the set. Yeah. Alright, next pack, we'll start with uh, Chilling Rain. Uh, so far, uh, again, first pack hit uh, for each tin. Uh, we got the Orbital VMAX on the, uh, the Eternatus V from first pack. In this case, we got the Arctivish V on this one. Uh, let's see if we can continue the the run. We got here Fire Energy, uh, Galarian Chestplate, Caitlyn, Kakuna, Spiel, Hatena, Rockruff, Shuppet, Cast Form, Snowy Form. That's cool. Ooh, a Verse Hollow Fire Resistant Gloves. And, oh, we got here. Oh, whoa. The, oh, the Shadow Rider Cal Calyrex VMAX. I think this is the alt. Yes, this is the uh, uh, alt art. Ah, that's really cool. Uh, I, just, I, I think already just this card alone. Kind of... Kinds of wins it for the Evolution tins. I cannot lie, uh, but man, that's this is really that's a really cool card. Let's uh, sleeve this up, and uh, yeah, man, I I can't believe we pulled an alt art. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> two more packs. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we get. I mean. It, yeah, it's uh, we'll open this uh, the battle styles. Sorry, just trying to collect myself. We got a, we we've uh, pulled a Shadow Rider Calyrex, the uh, the alt art. So it, I think it's just gonna be almost an automatic win from here. But again, uh, we still have these two packs and then the four more packs from the Vaporeon V tin. Um, oh, uh, usually when you see this, uh, usually you get uh, it means there's at least a hollow rare. So uh, we'll see what we get. So that means like three consecutive hits then, so far for the Jolteon V tin. All right, let's see what we get. We got a Grass Energy, uh, Single Strike Skull of Scorn, Grumpig, Pharaoh, Sizzlipede, that's cool. And Onyx, Chimeco, Roly Coley, Blipbug, and a Galarian Mr. Mime, Reverse Hollow. And, oh, a Mimikyu V. Nice, another V card. That's, 
That's pretty cool. It's two V's and then the V Max. So so far, uh, three three consecutive hits for the for the Jolteon V10. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's I think you, if you just call it even even with those uh, those hits with the Eternatus V from the first ten, getting three hit consecutive hits, especially two of them being a V and then one being an Alt Art V Max. Uh, I just, I can't see any way this these two tins lose against those other two. All right, last uh, blue strike, the Sword and Shield base. Let's get this open and see if we just uh, keep pulling pulling V cards or V Max cards. All right, start off with a uh, Metal Energy, a uh, Rotom Bike, Metal Saucer. Salazzle, Grookey, Krabby, Rookie Rhyhorn, Choodle, and a Reverse Hollow, Galarian Meowth, and oh, Torkoal V. Man, we've we've got a hit on every pack on the Jolteon B10. That's I I don't think uh, I mean these are my first videos, but I've opened tins before and I have never seen these kind of hits from a tin before. Basically this is just like I think a god tier tin. You've got three V's and then the the, the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Again, alternate art. That's uh, yeah, I that's so cool. Four hits from the one tin. Yeah. So uh we'll get cleaned up and uh, we'll get started on the Vaporeon V tin. Uh, yeah. All right, we got uh, cleaned up here. Now we're gonna be opening the four packs from the Vaporeon B10. Uh, we got here the same, the same four: Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Base Sword and Shield. Uh, the same that came with the Jolteon B10. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, keep this run going. The, this, the, the four hits from the Jolteon B10. Let's see if we uh, can get. Those same kind of hits from uh, the Vaporeon V10, and uh, again, I, it's 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 I think it's basically a win for these two tins. Um, I, I can't see anything here that can, can stop that. All right, so we'll open. And we got the the Evolving Skies, and uh, get started. If we can just continue these run of hits for the Evolution tins. All right, we got a Water Energy and a Floet. Boost Shake, Shellgon, Carvana, Emolga, Slackoth, Gossifleur, Love Disc, and oh, a Reverse Hollow Salamence, and oh, just a rare Thievul. <laughs> I mean, the, the run had to end somewhere, but yeah. Uh, just the uh, Reverse Hollow Salamence. Alright, Chilling Rain next. Let's see if we can. Uh, at least get some hits. Like I think always that second tin, there was barely anything. So hopefully this Vaporeon V doesn't follow suit like the Zaza meant to be. Alright, we got a uh, Dark Energy here. Path to the Peak. Hatram. Lyron. Quillfish. Ralts. Heracross. Cast Form. Sunny Form. Sveal. Swirlix, Reverse Hollow Swirlix, and oh, <laughs> the Vulvar, the Slurp Buff, but just a rare. Like just the Reverse Hollow Swirlix. Uh, so far, nothing. Uh, we'll get open this uh, Battle Styles and uh, see if we hit anything. Um, right now, it's on pace to be just like the Zaza meant to be. But I believe the, the Zaza meant to be uh, did pull one Hollow Rare. Uh, oh, looks like. Uh, when you see that, it's just a normal rare. So I think for this pack, uh, not gonna expect too much. Um, so we got here Lightning Energy, Sword Art and Schubert, Gliscor, Spupa, Murkrow, Bronzor, Bellsprout, Electabuzz, Gliger, Galar and Mr. Mime, oh, Reverse Hollow, Galarian, and just a Licky Licky. Yeah, I mean with that code card, usually you see it's just, it's just a normal rare. Alright, in the last pack we got the Sword and Shield base, 
<laughs> Let's see if we get this and get, uh, you know, some a hit on the last pack. So far, uh, nothing from the Vopara and V10s. Uh, all three uh, didn't come with anything other than just the rares as the last card. All right, uh, let's uh, let's see what we get. Start off with a Fighting Energy, Heat More, Poke Kid, Air Balloon, a Sizzlipede, Chinchou, Ball Toy, a Kifant, Grookey. And oh, a reverse hollow Rotom bike, and oh, just <laughs> just a rare Dreadnought. So uh, four packs from the Vaporeon V10, and no hits. Uh, I can't say the Jolteon V10 needed help though, because I mean, four the four hits already in the Jolteon V10 kind of just carried everything for the Evolutions. I mean, the Eternal TV had two two hits, but the the Jolteon V10 here, yeah. So yeah, we'll go get this all all cleaned up and uh, do a quick recap of the pulls from the both sets of tins uh, and see <laughs> kind of see who won, but I already kind of know who won. All right, we got the pulls from both sets of tins here. Uh, you got the Eternatus V and the Zamazenta V on the left, and then you've got the Jolteon V and the Vaporeon V here on the right. Um, I think overall, I mean, in terms of the number of pulls, you see here we got um, uh, four pulls from the Jolteon V10 and Vaporeon 10, and then five pulls from the Eternatus V and Zamazenta V10. Um, uh, even though but only three of them were about hollow rares with the uh, one being uh, Orbital V Max and then the other as the uh, Inteleon V as opposed to just the four hits from the Evolutions not being carried at all by the Jojian V10 uh, just capped off with the, the Alt Art Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. I just can't believe I pulled this card. I mean this is or it just this looks so cool. Yeah, uh, that's it uh, for, for this video. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 i just still in all awe of, of, the, of the pull of the Calyrex VMAX. <laughs> Later guys.